I was a fanatical South Fremantle supporter, late 40s, early 50s, and through that period, they were awesome. Well, they played in eight grand finals and won six. To this day, they still talk about the great South Fremantle sides through that period. Well, Bernie Nala was a perfectionist. You know, he perfected his craft. Well, one of the games there, this little boy came in with his mother and he kept on saying, oh, Mum, why don't you see Bernie Naylor play? You know, Bernie Naylor. And she said, oh, I said, all you talk about is Bernie Naylor. People gravitate to the champions, and he was a champion. He headed South Fremantle's goal kicking 10 times. And when you look at the amount of times he kicked 10 goals or more in a game, well, I think it was 17 times he kicked 10 goals or more. The medal now is named after him for the leading goal kicker in the West. Bernie's strength was his ability to lead. And when you're leading and you've got great players ahead of you hitting targets, all he had to do, his belief was, finish it off for him. And he certainly did all of that. He just loved football. He was always out practicing kicking that, even when he was up in New Guinea that, he used to practice kicking the ball between the trees and that up there. Well, you would get out on the mound 30 metres out and he would spend most of the night kicking goals. Now I said to him, why don't you go back further, Mr Mayor? And he said, well, if I get my timing and rhythm right, I can kick 60 metres. So his belief was you kick through the goals, not at the goals. Bernie Naylor mastered the torpedo punt and he had a unique way of holding the football. He used to put his index finger over the lace of the ball and the index finger of his left hand on the seam of the ball and he used to tilt it 45 degree angle. A lot of people tried before and after Bernie and no one was really successful. Yeah, because I wasn't very popular with the Fremantle girls because I don't come from Fremantle. And a few of them had their eyes on Bernie, but he picked me, so. Being a bank manager at the Commonwealth Bank, people used to go in there and just get a glimpse of him. That's how the aura the man had. Signing autographs a lot, you know, after the game, there'd be these little kids all lined up to pat him on the back. People still talk about his deeds, I know I do, and I will never forget the performances to this day. I'm talking about a, a game against Subiaco. He kicked 23 goals, and uh, he had 11 goals up to three-quarter time, and he kicked 12 goals in the last quarter. So he ended up with 23 goals, six. He said his, his league was just about falling off at the end of the game. He was just so accurate when they gave him the football. He kicked 18-2 the same year. They kicked 167 goals for the year. I am so pleased that he has been inducted into the Hall of Fame because he's so deserving of it. His record is impeccable and it just pleases me greatly. Finally, it's going to happen. There's just a wonderful, special feeling that he's been chosen. I think he, de he deserves it. It was something that we weren't expecting, but it is a lovely honour. He'd taken in his stride, but uh, you would find that the man would be, in his own way, happy. Very, very happy.